y'all, your boy, uh, the ship with the Kiki Hero. I'm back with another video of me toy hunting, you know, like to call it metro figure hunting. And I'm not at the store, I'm waiting for my bus stop, the 40 bus stop. I just missed the first one, and if I was quick silver, I would have caught with it. But fortunately, I don't have the ability to run it kind of fast, or there's no mutants, that's the real that I know about. Or I could teleport or fly or something, so I wait for this 40 bus in the heat. Got me a fresh coat water because it's hot. So just wait for this 40 bus to come soon. Another few minutes hopefully. And the next part will be me at literally in Target. Be back in a few. I am back at Target right now. And they have Marvel Legends Infinite Series Black Widow. I am going to have three guards with the figure, but hey, who doesn't want to scar to hand down your figure? So, they are holding it for me in the service department area, but I'm going to go check to see the have Aim and Hydra, so I believe I am going to complete the main drawer today by buying her, because Aim and Hydra come with the left and right arm, just like Baron Zemo at school, I believe, which I already have. Just my beard's going, I've had to shave here today. So I'm gonna go back to the hatchery department and see who else to have. So I might come back next month. I don't know what's the limit for orange builders for Amy Hydra, probably 10 or so. So let me stop this video. Nothing over here. So hopefully they're holding it for me up front. You have to flip it? She's at guest services. Everybody, it's your boy the Geeky here. Here, I'm back with another review on the Marvel Legends Emphasis Black Widow. I know a lot of collectors out there has been looking for this figure to you know to build a Mandroid or just for this figure alone because it's Scarlett Johansson. And uh, I heard originally that she was never part of the Avengers, that's what my co worker told me at work. But um, they just added her in the Avengers movie because she was an Iron Man too. And to be honest, I think Scarlett Johansson she's a really good actress to play Black Widow. You know, Natasha Romanoff, I, I like her role, she fits it well. And Samuel Jetson as Nick Fury. I heard that uh, he never knew that he was going to be in the end scene of Iron Man 1. And something about, I was watching about that, he was, they had drove from the trailer to this or that. And how he was looking at a comic book. He also wanted to be Nick Fury. He said, hey, I look just like me, you know, Nick Fury. And, uh, yeah, so I really do think they chose all the right actors to play the roles. You know, Mark Ruffalo. Uh, Edward Norton was good as, you know, Hulk. But... I like Mark Ruffalo. He, you know, it just seemed, I don't know, it just seemed the bottom that fit that role. I don't know what it was about the movie. But yeah, so I do like this figure, Minor Grites, and I know you guys know that she does not come with guns. So those are actually Marvel Select Deadpool guns I'm using for her. Well, it seems a little big, but um, that's okay, that's, that's okay with me. Yes, she's really well sculpted. Uh, let's get into the paint app. And she is kind of difficult to stand. I do like the the um, black widow logo right there. I'm trying to see how I don't sure if you can see well, but they did a, a kind of a horrible paint job right there. I don't know if you can see a red come off right there. So I like the you know face of Scarlett Johansson looks just like her. I do like that a lot. And this is the short hair that she had on the Avengers movie. And she does, and like I said, gun holsters, but no gun. Why do you have a character that come with gun holsters, but no gun? That's ridiculous. That's like buying a brand new, you know, Captain America figure without the ha without his shield or Thor at your figure without his uh, hammer. You know, it doesn't make any sense at all. So yeah, that that's, it just seemed like they just wanted to like trigger. Now I do like the gun holsters; they're sculpted nice, but why that? But no guns. So yeah, that's a big time let down. I like the shield logo she has on, you know, her shoulder right there. Uh, let's get to articulation. She does have a, you know, a nice ankle pivot. Double jointed knees, which is really good. 
uh, I think she has a diaphragm joint or a bicep swivel, no ab crunch at all. And this is the short hair she has. So let's get into the Winter Soldier hair. Well, wait, the hair that she had in the Winter Soldier movie. Yeah. Oh, um, and if you're wondering where I got this from, I actually got this at a uh, Target near me in San Leandro. I called them Friday, and they, uh, you know, I just kept going to Target.com, type in Marvel Legends. They said they had, they said they had like a bunch of them. Like, I think the lady told me eight or ten, and I wanted to go by there Saturday. Didn't have time. I was like, dang. So I called them Sunday morning at eight, and they said they'll hold one for me. I went to the extra department. They didn't have any, and I wasn't really upset because they was holding it for me in the, in the customer service area. And so they just, this is the last one I believe. So I actually happy I got it. You know, it's like twenty one dollars I think. So yeah. So this figure, you know, you guys know it's hard to come by, and she comes with the chest piece for the mandroid, which you know I'm happy I finished building that. Gonna do that review next. So yeah, this is not a bad figure at all. You know, she's kind of hard to stand, and um, I'm looking for. Gosh darn it! I can't ever. Oh, here it is. Sorry, I'm looking for her the hands that she came with. So these are just the gun shooter hands. So I'm gonna, yeah. You don't want to like just start off. I'm gonna, you're gonna, you don't want to just take it off like that. You want to go ahead and close and take it off. So even though the the um slut Deadpool guns look too big on her, I'm gonna use those anyway. So take that hand, put it in there like that, take this hand, put it in there. Wait, it's not in there, right? So yeah, like I said, those are my regards to the figure, like, no gun, but by gun posters. And that's the turn of hair, that, you know, not a turn it, but that's the hair she had in um, the Winter Soldier movie. And I found a hoodie the wore she wore in the movie online at eBay for like $10, I think, I don't remember. And I actually found the cost. well, remember how Steve Rogers, you know, in the movie, Winter Soldier had on the tan pants with the blue shirt, I think. Yeah, yeah, I saw that custom, you know, just the clothing that he had in the movie for the figure. It was $14, and a couple dollars for shipping. That's pretty expensive for a custom clothing that they wore in the movie for the action figure. I was thinking about it for the, for ACB or something, but actually I'm probably not going to get it, maybe, I don't know. So, if I think about it more. Um, yeah, so, as you can see, like I said, it's really hard to make this figure stand. It's literally almost impossible. There's an issue with this guy stand straight. Let's do some comparisons. Compared to Captain America now, compared to Iron Man from the Avengers movie, oh my, good, oh my goodness, there's a huge height difference. Compared to... Yeah, one second here. Hawkeye. Compared to where's Spider Man at? Oh, Nick Fury. Yeah. One second, I'm just oh he doesn't need to gun at his hand. Oh crap. See what I'm saying? Sorry about that guys. Here's Nick Fury. Don't you just hate when your figures fall? Gosh darn it. I think this is a black thing. Okay, so they would not fall this time. I guarantee. Wait, I can't make up any promises. Say that, but I can't make any promises about it. That can't happen. Or it's, it's going to happen. Uh, and Nick Fury looks like he's going to fall, maybe. Uh, who else am I missing? Oh. Door from the darkened world. You know, he's big. And last but not least, the Avengers Hulk. So there you have it. Um, let me see this. So Iron Man. There you have it. Everybody from the Avengers movie, just about the characters. You know, oh wait, I can't forget uh, the stealth mode cap. And he is where? Right here. Yeah, it seems weird to have two Captain Americas right there. So I'm going to just uh, move this one right now. So yeah, this one, that's my review on the figure. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, you guys know this figure is really not 
easy to come by, Black Widow. And let me get some shout outs. Bug Nice 10, Advocate 928, Spire Fan Reviews, Blow Joe's, uh, HT Universe, Joe 22, Awesome Brian, The Production Trinity, ODC, that's me, uh, Vendor Vacity, OK Warlock. I haven't heard from him in a few months, so I don't know what happened to him. Hope he's alright. Um, Red Die Hammer. And also, I can remember. And uh, this is 99 action figures right now. Oh, wait, and I cannot forget the box. Can you forget something? So if you guys think I should do a clutch update for July of this month, 2014, I would do one and you'll get a shout out. But you must have videos, you know, extra figure videos or other videos if you think I should do a clutch update for this year. Because it's weird to having a subscriber with no videos, you know. Uh, that's like having an Iron Man suit. Man, that's, all, that's like actually being a real superhero and you're not saving lives. Kinda. So if you guys think I should do a clutch update. For this for July, I will with 99 figures, or do you wait till August of next month with 100 at 100 extra figures? I do one because I just now I kind of feel like I'm ready for clutch updates since I got Black Widow. Uh, I get to read the box right here. Former spy and daily assassin Natasha Romanoff may have read, oh, may read in her ledger, but Black Widow plans to settle accounts. And it has you know everybody else. I'm missing Aim and Hydra. I haven't seen those anywhere yet. Even I complete the manjo, they come to the left and right arm. I don't need those. And uh now review next will be the manjo. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And check out the people I just mentioned in the transcription. Be below. So our characters. Let me see if you can see what it light off. And no, you can't. And I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you later. Peace.